convert this projector to a telecine projector, remove the front cover. You have to take out the original lamp. You have to replace it with this LED low wattage soft lamp, which you can get online. It's 7 watt, 12 volt, and it also comes with a dimmer switch. On this conversion, I'm going to increase the size of the aperture plate, which gives you a larger frame area and shows um, the sprocket hole in frame. Be very careful not to leave any burrs that will scratch the film. I shall stick this connector on the back of there with some double sided. There's the new lamp. Carefully sticking it in place so it's clear of any of the mechanism or film path. Remove the existing lens, that will just pull out the front and replace with this special Telecine close-up lens. The element on this lens is further down whereas the original one is right near the film gate. Um, this is again is available online. I'm going to position the dimmer down here so uh, for ease of operation. Just stick it on there with double sided. I built this, this is just wood, I built this adjustable platform that goes up and down and then I found this on Amazon which uh, you can adjust that way. I think this was about 20 euros this adjustable camera bracket. The audio input on the camera is mic level. I bought a small transformer here from eBay for about 12 euros which equalizes the signal from line to mic. I'm using a JVC HD video camera which suits this very well. You have to have a minimum of 12 to 1 zoom to fill the frame. I bought this 10 inch monitor from Amazon for around about 60 euros which is very useful for monitoring the transfer. You can see you've got the whole frame now as it's cropped normally on a standard projector and also sprocket hole here is in view. Uh, it's also upside down and you can invert this and crop it anywhere you want in the edit. The iris is set at 5.6 so I adjust the exposure on the LED lamp dimmer. I've got the shutter speed set at 1 60th and I'm running the projector around about 20 frames a second to get rid of any strobing. And expose it with the dimmer, the LED dimmer. Take it right down. Leave it there somewhere. As you can hear, because it's running around about 20 frames, the sound is too fast, so I slow that down when I do the edit. I also invert the picture and crop it any way that I want. I'm very pleased with this conversion. I now will have hours of fun transferring all my old Super 8 movies. This is the Cinegel dual gauge projector, run 16mm and 
which I've converted to transfer my films to video. It works extremely well. LED light source, special telecine lens, Panasonic 3 chip camera. I removed the old pre-focus fitting and lamp and replaced it with 12 volt 1 watt LED which is dimmable which I use for exposure. I replaced the original projection lens with this special telecine lens. Normal projection lenses have an element there and this end whereas this one has one further down the barrel here which allows you to focus directly on the frame. This is the LED picture lamp control and speed control. I take it down to just over 16 frames a second which gets rid of the flicker. I'm using a Panasonic 3 chip camera this HDC SD9 which works extremely well. I've set the shutter speed at 150th and closed the iris right down to 9.6. I then control the exposure on the LED dimmer. I've added this 7 inch screen that I bought from Amazon which makes it much easier to uh, monitor the process. You see it's flickering, I just adjust the speed to get rid of that. Sadly this is an old Eastman colour print which has gone pink. The picture is recorded upside down and I flip that over when I do the edit. I also bought this adjustable bracket from Amazon about 20 euros which makes it very easy to adjust the camera up and down. I would say the whole unit cost about 350 euros to put together including the cost of the projector. I'm very pleased with the results and now I spend hours and hours and hours transferring my old films.